This outstanding face carving was carved into this volcanic glass over 12,000 years ago. And that face is looking off to the left. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful face, face image that was beautifully, beautifully carved. And uh, we're looking through the glass here. This is a volcanic glass from Indonesia. It's a paleo story stone effigy, mammoth and face effigy. And this is the face that was carved into it, facing left. Outstanding workmanship. Oh my God. We're looking through the glass right now. The carving is on the other side. So here we have the face now facing right. Look how beautifully etched, beautifully etched and sculpted that face is. Outstanding paleo workmanship. What a beautiful face. Almost looks like a little cat type human face, little little nose. You can almost picture whiskers there. But we have a, a wonderful face facing right now. And just beautifully, beautifully carved and etched. What we have here is a mammoth facing right. That's a mammoth facing right. And that's the face looking up from the back of the mammoth. Now, since my discovery of these effigies in October of 2020, uh, th these are uh, made out of everything imaginable. Uh, found on all continents. I have them from all continents except Antarctica. They're out there by literally the trillions. And uh, now we have a mammoth facing left. Uh, a, a very cool, and it's been etched very well. But these are, are uh, on paleo sites throughout the world. And uh, they always feature an old mammoth and a young mammoth image, and an old face and a young face image. Uh, human faces and mammoths together. No one had ever observed those images together before my discovery in October of 2020, and uh, that has to do with flaked stone. And this is volcanic, naturally occurring volcanic glass from Indonesia, and uh, it's a, just an outstanding effigy. It's also a mammoth now this way. That's the baby mammoth with its little trunk right here, and that's the mature mammoth there facing right. And then we have that outstanding face, that outstanding face right there that's beautifully etched and carved into the, the piece. Just outstanding paleo workmanship at its very best. That's all been very finely etched. And the etching and grooving lines that are thicker are usually uh, multiple, three or four etching lines that are finer that all merge together. The workmanship on this is outstanding. I don't think that modern flint knappers would really be able to duplicate this, at least at this time, especially using ancient tools that the Paleo Indians would have used for uh, making this outstanding Paleo effigy. This is a, a Paleo Story Stone effigy at its very finest.